I need to do this for me and for my life. And we're going to do it. You are now watching The Curl Poppy. For all of my adult life, I've been obese. I to get motivated and lose weight, get comfortable, and then gain it all right back. This cycle has been going on for over 18 years. I've been on extreme diets. I've had every membership to every commercial gym you can think of. I've tried classes like Zumba. I've been on Ozempic, and I even try to have a gastric bypass. I started the process, but I never did it. I would literally eat anything and everything at all times of the day. I used to order food, pick it up downstairs, and eat it outside so that I wouldn't have to come upstairs and eat it and be judged by anyone in my family. I've been obsessed with eating my entire life, and I don't know my limits. Eating has always made me feel good, but there would be times that I would eat when I wasn't even hungry. At my heaviest, I was 360 pounds, and it honestly could have been more, but I got admitted into the hospital because I was going into a diabetic coma. I found out I had diabetes, they had to admit me, and put me on a strict diet immediately. And when I came out of there, that's when I weighed myself and I was 360 pounds. Finding out I had diabetes changed my life. I wanted to live, I wanted to change, and I did. I started going to the gym five days a week, working out with personal trainers, no carbs, no sugar, and I was eating healthy, or so I thought. At the time, I was feeling my best. I went from not being able to walk down the block because I was so out of breath and out of shape, not being able to tie my shoelace because my body was so big I couldn't even get to my shoes, and most embarrassingly, which I don't even know if I want to share this, but I went from having to take a shower every time I used the bathroom because my body was so big, I couldn't clean properly. I thought I had everything under control. I had lost 90 pounds. I was doing my thing. I was out here living a better, healthier life. All I wanted to do was fit into Zara and I almost did, but then like every single time I've tried in the past, I got back into the same habits. I started slacking in the gym with my workouts. I got into an altercation with one of my personal trainers because I missed one workout and I felt so disrespected by what he had to tell me because I missed one workout. I ended up stopped going to that specific location and then the one by my house, which was the closest one to me, closed down. And I thought I was too good to go to the shitty Planet Fitness by my house. No, literally, it was, it was, it's, listen, it's a dirty Planet Fitness. There's literal feces on the walls in the bathroom. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't go. I couldn't go. So I got comfortable again. I started getting into my old eating habits, not going to the gym. And slowly but surely, the pounds started to come back. From the 90 pounds that I lost, I ended up gaining back 50. 50, all that hard work in the gym, working out, eating right, I gained 50 pounds back of the 90. Because I have diabetes, I was actually approved for Ozempic. We already know Ozempi, yeah. I started seeing videos online and on social media, on YouTube, people losing 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds by doing nothing but taking this medication. And I was like, oh, I found a miracle drug that is gonna change my life and I have to put no effort into it because right now with these extra 50 pounds, I don't even wanna go to the gym. So let's try Ozempic. But come closer, come closer, come closer, let's chat. Because I thought, Ozempic, sure, it's gonna suppress my appetite, I'm not gonna be thinking about food all the time, and I don't have to put any effort into working out or doing anything because I feel too heavy, I don't wanna do anything, I just wanna take this miracle drug and see the pounds come off. But little did I know that you have to put in effort when you're on Ozempic. Now I will say, although I wasn't working out and being active and doing all the things I was doing before, 
I did manage to lose 20 pounds in a year, but let me tell you something. I was eating disgusting. I was eating fast food. I was eating at all times of night again. I was overeating. Even though with Ozempic, like it suppresses your appetite, I wasn't eating the best foods. And this is where we are today. Over the summer, my niece, y'all yeah, know my little niece, I've seen her on my channel before. She came to visit from Georgia. We, she was staying with me for two months and she's five years old. I don't know if you've been around children or have children or nieces and nephews, but let me tell you something. Five-year-olds have the energy of, I don't know what, let's just say their energy level is here. And when you are as big as me, your energy level is down here. And when I tell you I could not even run around in the parks with her because I made sure that we did something. We always did activities for her so she could stay active, have fun, and enjoy her vacation in New York. But when I tell you I could barely keep up with this girl, I couldn't run around in the park. And mind you, over two years ago, I used to jog two miles like it was nothing, baby. It was like, ah, yes, we're flying, yes. But I could not play with my five-year-old niece. That's how out of shape I am. Now listen, this is me declaring to you guys, because you guys gotta keep me accountable. I am starting a health journey once more, but it is not going to be like I was in the past. This cycle has to stop. I cannot continue to lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, put in so much work and effort, and then let it all go to waste just to continue to, to live an unhealthy life. I want to live. Like, I literally want to live. I want to be able to see my nieces and nephews grow up. Like, I don't want to be a burden on any family members that they're going to pass by my room one day and they're going to see me laying in bed and I don't wake up. Like, I literally want to live. And that brings us to today, August of 2024. And I am declaring to myself and to you guys, because you guys, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated and posted. And you guys are going to be holding me accountable because I need to live. I literally need to live. I want to watch my nieces and nephews grow up. I want to be able to run around with them and let them enjoy being kids with their uncle, their deal. I, want, I don't want to be a burden on my family that, God forbid, something happens to me because of my health. And they have to live with that. Like, I want to be a better version of myself, the better version that I know I can be. And I don't want to continuously have to go back to those days that I gain all the way back. And I'm back at square one. Like, I don't want that. I need, I need to do better. Like, I need to get it together. This time I'm doing things very, very different. Because what I was doing in the past clearly wasn't working. So I need to make things more realistic for myself. Because whenever I would say I'm starting, I'm starting, I'm starting, I would take things to an extreme. I would eat beyond my calories, even, I, even though I thought I was eating healthy. I don't even know how many calories I was eating. I didn't even know how many calories someone my height and size was supposed to eat. So I was just eating things that I thought were going to fill me up, but then also help me lose weight. So number one, I'm gonna be starting with counting calories. And what's helping me so far is the app, my fitness pal, where I can stay accountable for the things that I am eating for someone my height and size and not exceed those calories so that I don't limit myself to eating things. Because the reality is I don't want to go on a diet. I'm not calling this a diet. I'm calling it eating smarter. Because I want to be able to go to a party or go out with friends 
and be like, oh, no worries, I can eat this. I just need to make sure that it fits within the amount of calories that I can eat. And for someone my height and size, I'm supposed to eat 2,225 calories per day, and we are sticking to it, baby. And listen, if I go over 100 calories one day, whatever. I'll eat 100 calories less the next day. But being accountable of the things that I'm eating smartly is the first step I am going to take. Because when I tell you, I didn't know nothing about nutrition, but this time, baby, we going into it knowing a little bit about nutrition, because I don't know it all. But I know a little bit more than I did from those times. The past is in the past, and this is the future. Number two, realistically, I was going five days a week to the gym. For someone that has a full-time job, runs a business, like that's not realistic for me. And I, I don't want it to become a burden on me. I don't want to get tired of, the, of working out or being active. So I'm sticking to three times a week and or three or let's say three to four times a week. But they we're sticking to three to begin with, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And let's see how that goes. And if I want to add an extra day, I can. If I miss a day, I can make it up the next day. But the extreme of working out every day, yes, is fun when you're in it and 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 things are like you're seeing changes in your body. But realistically, if I can't, I can't. I'm gonna start off slow because health and fitness is not it's not a race, it's for the rest of my life. Like this is gonna be something I'm gonna be struggling for the rest of my life. So I need to have realistic goals of when I'm gonna work out, and for me. Three days a week is more than enough. Number three, I am not gonna obsess over my weight. I used to weigh myself almost every other day or twice a week. That Seeing that number on the scale go down, that cheers you up. But this is not about losing weight for me. This is about getting healthy and living a more sustainable life. So if I weigh myself once a week, cute. If I weigh myself once a month, cute. But I am not obsessing over my weight because the scale on the number is not that important to me. It's about the how I feel on the inside. And listen, I don't know if you guys have ever been on a health journey or, or on a weight loss journey, but you, that literally can become one of the most consuming things for you is obsessing over your weight and seeing that number on the scale go down. And you know how I'm going to gauge it? By how my body feels, how my clothes feel. And yes, I am going to be weighing myself, but I'm going to limit the times that I weigh myself because being obsessed with a number is not healthy. And we're trying to do this healthy and realistic. Now, number four, some things that I've started to get active again and get my body energized and, and get it back into a cycle where I can start feeling healthy. Number one, I'm going to be doing at-home workouts. I'm not going to be doing the gym. Realistically, the gyms around my area, other than the shitty Planet Fitness, they all close early. I, ha I have a sporadic work schedule. It, it's not a set schedule. So sometimes I would be rushing to the gym, get that 1030, be only to be able to work out for half an hour. No, I'm going to be working out at home on my own time when I can, whether it's in the morning, whether it's at night, whether it's in the afternoon on my days off. But realistically, I'm going to be starting off working at home, working out at home because this is where I feel safe. This is where I can get things accomplished and I don't have to like, oh my God, I need to make it to the gym. Oh my God, uh, da, da, da. no. At home, I can always work out. That's where I'm gonna start it. I did buy adjustable dumbbells, so we are gonna be out here. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I'm gonna be working out at home. Also, I started walking every single day for at least an hour. It doesn't matter whether I'm coming from work, I'm walking from my job home. If I'm off that day, I'm calling a friend or even if I can't get a friend to walk with me, I am walking every day for an hour and I have been doing that for the last three weeks. And when I tell you the first day, oh, <laughs> out of breath, and now week three is like nothing. It's like nothing. 
we be walking, listening to music, hyped up in our head. Uh, right now, I have a goal that I'm trying to beat my pace from uh, home to work under 40 minutes. Uh, every day has been 45. Today, I made it to 42. So we're getting closer to that goal. But I'm just trying to get more active in my life. And another thing is at work and at home, I'm taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Like, why not? Take the stairs, get active, feel your body moving. Remember, I was just, I, I was the person that couldn't even walk down the block. And now I'm taking stairs. And let me tell you something. When I first started day one at work, I was out of breath going up them stairs. But now you see me, baby. I'm like, ooh, we getting it. We working. And listen, it's all about doing little things to change my life in a more active and a healthy way. And the last thing I'm doing is not rushing it. Like this is not a pro before it was like, I need to lose this amount of weight by this amount of time. I need to lose this amount of weight by this amount of time. No, this is my life. Like I'm taking it day by day. I need to take it day by day. There's no rush. There's no competition. Like this is my life. Like I need to get in shape and be healthy on my terms, but also realistic terms. There's no rush. Who am I rushing? Who am I trying to be? Who am I trying to impress? I'm not trying to impress nobody. I need to impress myself and live a better, healthier life. So there is no rush. I am not setting no realistic goals. Yes, there is a number in my head of where I would like to be, but that number is irrelevant. It's I, I, the, it, the closer I get to it, the great, right? I love it. Here we are, woohoo, accomplishment. But the reality is there's no rush and there's no real expectation of where I wanna be in terms of weight because it's not even about my weight, it's about my health, my activities that I do. I just, I listen, realistically, there's no goal, there's no rush. So I'm doing this with a different mindset of, you're doing this for you and this is forever. Now listen, this is where you guys come into play. Yes, my channel, I'm still gonna be active on my channel, I'm still gonna be doing uh, reviews and docu style videos, but yes, my channel is going to be transitioning. I'm going to, I'm going to make it more of a lifestyle channel. Yes. I'm still going to be reviewing products because we are the curl poppy. I have a hair care brand, uh, curl saints, curl saints.com and at curl saints on all social platforms. But anyway, uh, so I'm still going to be doing product reviews, right? But now I'm gonna be doing different type of product reviews as well. Like I'm gonna be incorporating the things that are helping me get on my journey. I'm gonna be documenting what I'm doing all the time to, to change it up. Like I, I'm just gonna, this is gonna, this channel is gonna be my life blog. That's what we're calling it. Yes, I'm still the curl poppy. I will always be the curl poppy, but I want to document my life in a different way and the things that I'm doing differently so that you guys can hold me accountable too, like, and cheer me on. And you know, this is, this is a cycle of 18 years that has to have to end. Like I can't continue living my life this way. Like something needs to change. And honestly, I feel so different this time around. And I know I've said that so many times to myself, like, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time. But I feel it in my heart, my soul, that this is it. It has to be it because I don't even want to say like, this is it. It has to be it. Like my life has to change or I'm going to be in this continuous cycle for the rest of my life. And I can't, like I literally can't. Like I need to do this for me and for my life and we're gonna do it. So if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also follow me on all social platforms at The Curl Puppy. And until next time guys.